Reactions butane C4H10 react with chlorine by radical substitution. A mixture of organic compounds is formed including C4H9Cl and compounds D and E. Complete the table below to show the mechanism for the initiation and propagation stages of the reaction of C4H10 with chlorine to form C4H9Cl. In your equations, use molecular formula with dots with any radicals. Okay. Right, so initiation. We start off with using the halogen they've given us, and that turns into a free radical. So here they've said it's chlorine, and so we start off using Cl2, and that becomes a free radical. So we put chlorine with the dot, but we need to balance out so it's two lots of chlorine radicals. Right, so we figured out this first step. The conditions is always under ultraviolet light, and that always stays the same. Now we move on to propagation. Propagation is when we use the free radical that we have made and we combine it with the substance that they've uh, included in the question. So here it says under suitable conditions butane reacts with chlorine by radical substitution. So we have to have the chlorine here and we're going to put the butane and that's it. Now what are the products? So remember propagation has two steps and the last step you're always supposed to form what they've given you in your question. So it tells, it tells us it forms C4H9Cl. Therefore, this needs to be our end step. So if we go from here to C4H9Cl, the first thing we need to do is lose one of the hydrogens. And so that C4H9 becomes a radical, becomes a free radical, because that would allow it to, to take part in the second propagation step. And so we have C4H9. Now, the products. We have one hydrogen left over, plus the chlorine that's left over, and so that forms HCl. Now, the second step of propagation, we use the same radical that we formed, so C4H9, and we need to get it to C4H9Cl. Therefore, what we're adding on is a chlorine, and we use Cl2. And that would give us our product of C4H9Cl, and we need to balance it out, so there's one more chlorine left, which we use as Cl. And we need to have the same amount of rad radicals on each side. And so we have one radical here, and therefore that chlorine is also a radical. So some might say, well, why don't we just use the chlorine here that's a, that's a radical instead of Cl2? Because when we combine two radicals together, it is no longer propagation, it is a termination reaction. And therefore, you only combine two radicals together to form a termination step, not a propagation step. Propagation means one uh, radical with a substance that's not a radical. And so you need to use the halogen that's not a radical. And that's it. Organic compound D is formed by substitution of all the hydrogen atoms in butane by chlorine atoms. With the, write the equation for the formation of compound D from butane. Use the molecular formula. Okay, so it told us that compound D is formed when all the hydrogens are substituted by chlorine atoms. So the first thing that we know is uh, we start off with butane and chlorine. So we write, off, we write butane, C4H10, plus chlorine, so Cl2. And then we go on to the product, which is compound D, and that's when all the hydrogen atoms have been substituted by chlorine atoms. Therefore, it's C4Cl10, no, no hydrogens. Now, we have to use another, we have to form another product because remember, we have, this is what Cl2 looks like. And when they go and displace the hydrogens, it's only one of those chlorines that will dis be displacing the hydrogen uh, that attached the carbon. And therefore, we have another spare chlorine. That chlorine will form as one of the products, but it will combine with the displaced hydrogen. And so we have HCl forming. And so this is what it looks like. We've got a separate reaction. So you might remember uh, electrophilic substitution. So we have the chlorine that will take the place, so we have C Cl, but that means if this chlorine took the place here, we get CCl, we have an extra Cl and we have an extra hydrogen, and they combine to form HCl, which is part of the products. And so therefore we have C4Cl10 plus HCl, but that's not balanced because we have 10 chlorines here and uh, another chlorine here, and we have... Cl2 here. Now we started off with 10 hydrogens and we have, if I remove my balanced answers, if this is what the equation looks like, 
and you start off with 10 chlorine cyan, oh sorry now 11, and you've got 2 chlorine cyan. Uh, it's always easy to start off with when you're trying to balance with an atom that occurs in only one of the products. So for example you have chlorine here and here, whereas for hydrogen we only have hydrogen here over here, so it's easy to start off with that. So we've got 10 hydrogens here and we've got 1 hydrogen here. And so to balance it out we're going to put 10, so now we have 10 hydrogens. But for chlorines, we have now 10 chlorines here and 10 chlorines here, giving us 20 chlorines in total. Therefore, we add 10 over here because that gives us 20 chlorines in total. So both sides are balanced. And that's the answer. Organic compound E is formed by the substitution of some of the hydrogen atoms in butane by chlorine atoms. A chemist found that 0.636 grams of compound E has a volume of 76 centimeters cubed. Under the conditions used, the molar gas volume is 32.5 decimeters cubed per mole. Determine the molecular formula of compound E. Right, so in order to determine the molecular formula, we need to know the MR. And MR, we know is uh, mass over MR gives us, sorry, mass over moles gives us MR. We do have the mass because they've told us it's 0 0.636. And then we have, we have volume and we have a gas volume. Now, first of all, these units are not the same, so we're going to have to convert to get the same units. So if I'm using 32.5 and I times by 1,000, that gives me 32,500 centimetre, sorry, centimetres cubed. So now I have got the uh, same units. Now in maths you would have remembered that when you're dividing if you have the same number or units on the top and the bottom they cancel out and that's where you converted to get centimeters cubed because if we have if we want moles because we have mass and we need moles in order to determine the MR and from the MR we can determine the molecular formula. So if I need to calculate moles and this tells me that there's moles here but it tells me it's combined with uh, gas, so centimeters cubed, which I've got it in, because I've converted them to decimeters. If I divide centimeters by centimeters, sorry, centimeters cubed by centimeters cubed, it will leave me with the moles. And so that's why I've got 78, and if I divide it by um, 32,500, then that will effectively cancel this and this, and I'll be left with moles. Therefore, my answer here, when I divide them together, is 2.4 times 10 to the power of 3 moles. So that means I have now moles and I have mass, and so if I divide them together, I can get the MR. And so I have the MR of 265. Now, if I have the MR, I need to work out the molecular formula. Molecular formula tells me that I have butane, so it's C4. H10, and some of the chlorine atoms will take place with the hydrogen, so not all of them, but I need to work out how many chlorines will be in C4H uh, something and Cl something. Now, if I get the MR of all of these three atoms, so carbon is 12, hydrogen is 1, and chlorine is 35.5, my answer does not have a decimal, meaning that I have an even number of chlorines, because if I had an odd number of chlorines, then my MR would be a decimal. So instead, we're looking at an even number. We plus it together, so we're always going to have uh, times 2, so always an uh, even number of chlorine. Right, so I've written over here, even number. So what are my possibilities? C4H10 plus how many chlorines? If I have C4H10 and two lots of chlorines, I will have an MR of 127, so that's not my correct answer. If I have C4H6 and therefore I have... Uh, four chlorines that will give me an MR of 196, not my MR. If I have C4H4, Cl6, that will give me an MR of 265, meaning this is the correct answer. So whenever I want the molecular formulas, always try on error, but we know that has to be an even number of chlorines, and uh, two chlorines will displace two hydrogens, and that's why as I increase two chlorines, I will decrease by two hydrogens, and I figure out it's two uh, C4H4, Cl6, and that's it.